Is there a name for this island right next to England? Seems pretty big, it should probably have one. How could anyone call this anything else but an island? Map of Europe based off the average P color. So it seems as though everything internally in these countries seems to be working. Things get a bit more weird in Northern Italy and the Balkans though. But if you live anywhere near the Mediterranean, uh, yeah, you should probably get that checked. If you drink enough water, your pee should be clear like turkey. Why is everything so empty? We have the weird population density of Mongolia, the strange population density of Saudi Arabia, the strange population density- I can't even speak now. The strange population density of Namibia, and it just keeps going and 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 going. I believe these are all real life lore thumbnails. I mean, he's just making thumbnails and titles based off what people are clicking on. I guess there's a large amount of people that don't understand how population density works. Why are all major European cities in a straight line? Yo, this is crazy. They must have planned it like this. This must be one of those real maps. I had no idea London was actually in continental Europe or that Athens was actually in like Spain. I've been doing this for so long and I never knew this. Question, how come North Korea and South Korea don't form a single country? Do they have different cultures or something? I don't understand. I'm just wondering if they've ever considered this because I think not. Is there a lore reason as to why Moses didn't just use Google Maps back in the day? Is he just one of those people that are really technologically illiterate? Also, come on, this would have been way easier in a car. What was he thinking? Another question about cities and the state of New York. Why don't they just build some cities here? Why would they need this big patch of grass and trees anyways? Are they dumb or something? And it's really weird because they decided to build cities all around this green area, but not the green area. Another alternative history map, this time for World War One. All the red nations versus the blue. Who would win? <laughs> beats me. Talk about top 10 most difficult questions to answer. All 100% of Chinese citizens can't name this country. Apparently it's not just Americans that are bad at geography. Imagine not knowing the country that's by the Taiwan Strait. Maybe there's a chance they know the answer, they just don't want to deal with the consequences if they say it. I mean, you'd think your social credit score would go up higher if you know the neighboring countries to China. I wonder what mine is. As a geography expert, people ask me these questions all the time. Who would win? The red side with China, the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea, the Baltic Sea, the Red Sea, and the Adriatic Sea. Sorry, I meant the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. Or the blue side, Mexico, Alaska, Greenland, all the Great Lakes, and the Mediterranean. This is probably one of the hardest I've ever had to answer. On one side, you have over a billion people here in China, but on the other side, you have a very long Mediterranean boy right here. Pretty sure if we just overlaid that on top of China, it wouldn't go that well. How come these two places haven't formed a singular country? Are their cultures so different? On one side we have Mongolia, and on the other, it's Hungary. This union would seem to make a whole lot of sense. Why didn't Portugal just build a giant canal through the continent of Africa, instead of going around it? That would definitely be a way more efficient way to get to Madagascar. Once they would have built this thing, they could have just gone in a perfectly straight line. Once again, the inefficiency of Portugal strikes again. Africa produces the world's least amount of waste. Why are they so environmentally friendly? We can actually group Africa with a lot of South Asia as well. Well, why can't we here in the U.S. be more like that? We need to take notes, Americans. Speaking of countries that should unite, how about these places come together? I mean, they do all speak the same language. And it would be pretty giant. Everyone knows the only deciding factor for if a country should unite or not is if they speak the same language. Literally nothing else should be factored in. If Europe dislikes France so much, why don't they just swap it out with Kenya? Have they ever thought about just taking France and pushing it somewhere else? Because the memes make it obvious. I know you guys are sick of this place. And it looks like Kenya it would fit perfectly right into Europe. Why doesn't this part of Germany have any major cities in it? Are they just too lazy to build anything right here? I mean, there's a massive bubble in the north. There's kind of a skinnier, wide bubble in the middle. And then it just continues to go all the way down until almost Austrian territory. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, why wouldn't they build some cities right here? It's almost like they're trying to do this intentionally. I found this map on my son's computer. Should I be worried? As one man to another it's over. Just whenever you find an edited map save somewhere on a computer, it's it's done. All hope is lost. I don't know if anyone has any idea how many edited maps I have saved on my computer. It's at least enough to put me on a list. French guy renames different regions of France. Let's start with the region Brittany, which is actually just French Ireland. He has history teachers love this place. Of course, the north of France is just being renamed to the Industrial Revolution and its consequences. Annoying people? You caused three wars. Are you happy now? Not real. Oh, they have their own Wyoming. Mount 
mountains where rich people go on vacation and Spain DLC. Oh, that's French Catalonia. No one actually lives here. I gotta admit some of these new regional names are a little rough around the edges, but I think they'll catch on. Someone recently asked, what's the point of this? Luckily, as an American historian, I have the answers for you. This is where we put all our crazy people and retirees. Kind of acts as a form of entertainment. We just make it as insane as possible and then like watch with popcorn. Oh, huh, would you look at that? It looks like India also has a problem with not building cities in certain parts of their country. I mean, they have some cities, yes, but a whole lot with no cities. This was totally not cherry picked either. Why was Upper Egypt lower than Upper Egypt? Here we have Upper Egypt, which is actually Lower Egypt. But when we go low, we'll actually find Upper Egypt. Egypt. What were they thinking? This is exactly what happens when you worship cats as gods. Or maybe Egypt was just founded by the Australians. Not many people realize just how big Togo actually is. And here is that African nation just absolutely consuming Finland. Flat maps strike again. Who would have known Togo is actually like a second Chile? Guess this must be some sort of weird glitch when we actually take it into the true size map. Man, I hate when this happens. Sad, but true facts. 99% of Americans can't name this country. <sighs> Ugh. Are we just that stupid or something? I feel like I've taught so many, but yet still 99% of Americans don't know this place. It should be obvious, one of the most used world maps on the internet, one of the first world maps that even pops up when you Google world map, has it clearly labeled. I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious than this. Obviously, it's the nation of Armenia. Oh no, not again. 99% of Americans also can't name this country either. I'm gonna let you guys figure this one out for yourselves, but we did see just how dominant that they would be over the nation of China. Why don't all these countries in Europe unite? Are they so different in culture? I mean, the heart of it all is obviously Germany here, but maybe if Germany could just help to convince some of these other places surrounding it. Like, I don't know, do a metaphorical invasion from two different sides. My grandpa that lives in Argentina always said that he wanted this country to be a real thing. <laughs> I guess he tried. My opinion on Europe as a Brazilian. Germany and Poland get happy faces. So do all the Nordic countries. Of course, Estonia is not Nordic. Russia gets a really happy face though. So does Italy and Switzerland. The Iberian Peninsula is alright too. They're gonna get a smiley face. We're just gonna completely ignore France and maybe the Lowlands too. Seems like this Brazilian really likes a lot of Europe. Almost all of it. Hey guys, I just united these two countries. I'll be back in 227 years to check on it. What a cool unification too. Poland and Lithuania. What could go wrong? I usually don't like to make predictions, but I'm pretty sure these guys are gonna have an awesome future. They most certainly will not just randomly disappear appear multiple times. Who would win in a full-scale war? The blue team or the red team? And I see what they're doing here. Obviously, the red team is Eastern Europe, and obviously the blue team is Western Europe. The thing about the Eastern side, though, is they have some allies you might not expect. Cultural allies. Hey, guys! Just created this country as well. I'll be back in 75 years to check on it. Again, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Forgot to add, please make sure no one attacks it. Map of Europe, but I tried to make every single country angry and this was so simple it was really kind of beautiful in a way this is really all he had to do I can already hear the screeching why does so much of Europe sail around Africa when they can actually just go west how could they never think of this like imagine I'm a European and I want spices from Asia I don't want to go all the way around here what if I just went this way all I have to do to find India is go west right pretty sure why doesn't the nation of Finland and Hungary unite they speak the same language language, don't they? Might as well slap Mongolia in this little trifecta as well and call it a day. They're gonna be unstoppable. Another big question about cities, why doesn't the nation of Canada have any cities here? Talk about wasted territory. And doesn't Canada have a real estate problem as well? How can you have a housing crisis when you have all this land up here to use? Yo bros, just made this awesome new continent. I'll be back in 200 million years to check on it. I really hope it doesn't just completely break apart. That would suck. You know how much time it took me to do this thing? This is actually a really cool Pangea, like the idea of a giant inland sea like this? Magical. No, not another one. 99% of Americans can't name this country either. Honestly, I don't even know if I can name this country. There's like this weird enclave thing, a couple of islands, um, this weird top Texas. Oh, wait, this is a... Uh... 
what is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. ASU, something like that? The American States United, yeah. Why doesn't the United Kingdom join the European Union? Did they forget they're in Europe or something? I mean, I guess it would be pretty easy since they're not physically connected to Europe. Maybe they just forgot. But after this video releases, they'll remember, I'm thinking. They're like, oh, that's right. We should, we should join that. The states in blue, I would move to. The states in red, I would never move to. Trying to figure out exactly the reason why for this. I can't put my finger on it. Oh, is this one of those water supremacists? They just really need water. Places that are landlocked are not epic and based to this poster. That's crazy. Is there a reason the United States and the United States don't border each other? This one is a hard one. Why did the United States just decide to put Canada right here? Did they not care about this part of their border at all? They also decided to put the entire Pacific Ocean in between some islands they have out here with Hawaii. Why would they do that? I, for one, feel like the United States and the United States should border each other, but that's just me. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Ducker, Nine Cartographer. Sebi, if you hear Subscribe. this, I love to Drew now. I am the kid of Fat Norwal, Carmel S, no Inquisitor Zarius, Marino is best girl, Luxembourg 5610, Robert E, Rye the, Pie, the Great Ralph, the Mexican the Wicked Hamster, John Denver, Glad, Glad and Dad. Jack Traven's annoying friend. And why am I doing this?